The shot spotter technology gives us very precise information so that officers do not waste time riding through the various blocks where the calls come from. So uh, $1.8 million um, to get to an area very, very quickly and prevent additional gunfire and additional loss of life, to me, is a very small investment. It's a big difference to respond to a corner or a geographical area than it is to know that the shot came from the side of a building or behind a building or in front of a building within a 20 or 30 foot range. Tactically, that is significant. I've been there when the brass has been warm and the air was still full of gun smoke. The shot spotter system allowed police to respond within seconds to a shots fired call in the corner of Dwight Street Extension. What these guys were going to do with full body armor on, fully loaded 9 millimeters, shot spotter probably stopped a crime from being committed. Officers say the shot spotter not only helps them locate where shots are being fired, but it also assists them in mapping out where most of the incidents are happening so they can put more manpower in that area. What this lets us to do is put more resources, directed patrol, in those communities on the, the times that this gunfire is occurring so that we can try to reduce the incidence of violence in the community. Now, not only does this shot spotter help locate gunfire around the city, it also helps detectives know the exact time and place shots were fired if they have to use that information on a homicide or aggravated assault case. Had we not been able to locate this person because no one called 911, no one called emergency, this individual could have possibly died. So this technology has saved, at least last night, one life. When a gun is fired, it creates an acoustic shockwave, a sonic impulse radiating outward at 1,100 feet per second. The impulse strikes the highly sensitive sensors. To pinpoint the shot's location, the system then uses triangulation, a process measuring how much time it takes for the sound shock wave to reach each sensor. This information is then relayed to the sheriff's dispatch center, showing up as a red dot on the shot spotter screen. Those sensors are so accurate, they can tell where a gunshot was fired within 10 feet. And yes, they can tell the difference between a gunshot and a firecracker. But when a weapon is fired, the sensors can detect the shot and plot the location on a satellite map to within 25 meters of the exact spot and notify the sheriff's dispatch center all in mere seconds. You're listening to what we um, designated as multiple gunshots. Our shot spotter system will give us up into the matter of feet how far away the gunshot is coming from this location. In this particular case, it tells us that the shot came from the rear of this house, 715 feet. It's been a year since police put gunfire detectors in north and south Minneapolis. The exact locations of the shot spotter technology are secret. But officers say those neighborhoods are seeing a 23% drop in killings, a 20% drop in robberies, and a 10% drop in attacks with weapons. Violent crime is dropping throughout Minneapolis. But as Jason DeRussia reports, it's dropping faster around the shot spotters. Shot spotter was first rolled out by the Century Station in Linwood, which patrols 13 square miles of southern LA County. Murders there are down 40% in the past four years. Deputies attribute much of that decrease to shot spot. And all, it's not the, the golden key, but it's definitely uh, an added um, bonus, a, a good tool to have in our toolbox while we fight crime here in Oakland. Officer Roland Holmgren says with shot spotter, detectives can determine the caliber of gun if more than one weapon was used and the direction of shots. He says it saved lives, and that's worth the money.